Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight we're going to look at Archimate modeling. It's a cool tool. It's a cool um, plugin for. It's actually built on Eclipse. It's awesome when you want to build, uh, when you want to to do some modeling, and when you want to create some diagrams, and when you want to 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 draw out some architecture. Uh, let us just get right into it right here. And. I will go in the top, I think. Let me just check right here. Right there. So if you go to archimatetool.com, then you can actually download this uh, this program for free. So it's, 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 it's free and it actually, you can export the format and you can also import the format and you can also, uh, you can also create a, an image out of it. So, but let's, uh, let's see the program. Uh, it's right here. I've created a new model by pressing file, new. And then empty model right here. You can also create the uh, models from templates. I'm going to create a uh, an, an empty one right here. And let me just change my position a little bit. Yeah, I think that's better for now at least. So then uh, let's say that I want to to create an arch architectural drawing of, of whatever I'm doing. Then I can go ahead and I can find in the right side and I can find uh, a lot of uh, components, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff. And of course I can choose which one to use myself. It's up to me. Um, but there are, of course there's also a standard if you want to, if you if you don't know uh, which which uh, which box to take and, to, and choose, then there's actually a standard. So if you have a node, if you have a server. Then you would choose uh, the node right here, and then I can choose. Uh, I can write something like uh, Mike's virtual server. So if that's what I have right here, then I can draw the box a little bit larger, like this. And then I can add stuff inside this box right here. I can add. Maybe I want to have a. Maybe I have a technology service. I have a service running right here. This could be uh, Mike's uh, Spring. Spring Boot, Hotline, Service, REST, maybe REST, REST, REST API, like this, right? So now I have a service inside right here. Um, and then I can add some more stuff, of course. I could also I could add a database, couldn't I? Let me just check right here. Okay, here if I have an artifact. Okay, maybe I want to show that I'm, I'm building an artifact. I have my .jar file. That's one artifact. That I have right here, then I have another artifact maybe uh, right there. That could be my Docker image. That could be another artifact that I have. Those are right there. And of course I can make cool, uh, I can make arrows between them also, and I can also put them inside maybe a, a registry, some kind of registry. If I want to do that, then let's take, no, what is that, this one right here? There's a lot of stuff right here. And I haven't, uh, I must say, I haven't dug into all of these right here, but there's also an interface right here. So let's say I want to create an interface to my uh, to my service, then I'll just drag it right there. Um, REST API 1. Let me just delete that one right there. So now it's, okay, that's because it's in the background. Let me just position. Position in the in the front top. Uh, position. Uh, let me just delete it. Delete this one. I'll just make it once again. So right right here we have the. This is my service, and I can create an API on the service. Something API. Okay, then it actually disappears. Maybe need to be inside, and that's why. As you can see here, I, I could, of course, I could have uh, practiced a bit more. I know that, but uh, I just want to show this. I just stumbled upon this uh, this cool program right here because I had to do some architecture, um, and that's why I want to show this tonight. Uh, and here, it actually, is here we here we can see the interface inside my uh, my, my REST service right now. So, the, of course, the API, um, if the API component also works, then we have uh, some technology couple of collaboration right here. We have some system software. Yeah, let us add some system software. Um, what could that be? That could be some, uh, maybe it's Linux, Linux, some Ubuntu or something like that. Um, so this is system software. And as you can see, when you, you when you drag stuff around, then they, of course the arrows will follow around. So that means that we can actually f uh, focus on the architecture or whatever, uh, whatever kind of overview that we're actually doing. And then, um, yeah, and then, then the, the arrows will actually follow. And if, there no, if there's no arrows between something, then you can make the arrows yourself by pressing the arrow right here. And then you can connect these boxes right here. So the purpose is not to say that you need to follow the standard that is already there. It's actually just to make it easier for you to uh, to, to graphically um, 
represent some your architecture, for instance, or some other stuff uh, that you have in, in in your maybe it could also be your yeah, it could be your, your APIs you want to represent uh, graphically instead. Then you can use this uh, Archimate uh, tool right here, and I I've, and I think it's quite awesome. Then there's then we have some business access right here, so it's, it's yeah, yeah contract also. So there's a lot of business stuff also right here. And as you can see in the left side, in the top right here, every time I add something, then I actually get these uh, things right here. And of course, I can also rename them. So, uh, that, okay, they actually get that name right there. So if instead of a business sector, then I could say uh, in customer like this. So now it's in customer. Then I can drag my in customer around if I want to do that. And uh, of course, and we, we, we don't have to think too much of ourselves because there is actually uh, there are standards for business processes and for... Yeah, also for software where we actually started what well, this this is a device okay so here we have a device inside my virtual server maybe um, we could have a network adapter or something like that network adapter so now we have a device there cool let us see what is what else we have here um technology event okay yeah, yeah if, if an event occurs that could also be cool what what should then happen then something else could happen right we could what is this technology process or what was that let me just check right here uh, technology yeah technology that's a process i can also add that then we have some kind of process that starts and again i can this time want to make a dotted uh, line between them then i do that because for some reason um so there's a lot of flexibility right here and of course all, all of these it's just a uh, uh, proposition that we use these um, that we use these components uh, right here as the uh, and give it a, and give it the same meaning as as Archimate does. Uh, if you don't, this is just called a palette. And um, yeah, so there's a business role. We have some capability right there. What else do we have? A driver assessment goal. Okay, maybe we have a goal. We need to do some stuff. Um, uh, create what could a goal be? Um, uh, the most awesome, awesome uh, time registering, registry, registering system. Maybe that was wrong. A good system for regist registering uh, time spent. So that's what we just had there. That's a goal. Um, and that is actually it. I just want to show that. So, um, Archimate tool right here, right now, version 4.8.1, and it's uh, you can just download it for free uh, right here. And that's actually it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great evening. Hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.